We're at 80s in the park, or some people are now calling it 80s in the swamp with Jack Starr of Burning Star. Jack, thanks for taking the time for interviewing with us. Well, thank you for having me. You're very welcome. Jack, how long have you been a professional musician? Oh, let's see, about 45 years. 45 years. A long yeah. time. Are you getting good at it yet? I think I got it down to the science. Very good. In your 45 years of playing, yeah. what's your favorite venue and why? Oh, man, you know, it's really weird, but I've played in some really weird places, but weird in a good way. I played in this place called the Olympia Theater in Paris, which is the only place that's had the Beatles and Jimi Hendrix. So it's kind of cool to know that I played on the same stage with a couple of guys. They're pretty well known. Very cool. In, um, in all your years of touring, I'm sure you've toured with some other bands. What yeah. band is your favorite to tour with? Oh, boy. Uh, well, you know, I don't want to... They're all wonderful and great. And um, we've played with everybody from Motorhead to Man of War to Cinderella to Ron Wood of the Rolling Stones to uh, Ace Frehley. Wait, speaking of Ace Frehley, I think he might have been the nicest guy because... Uh, I went backstage and I met Ace, and the guy said, oh, you know, don't bother Ace, he's sleeping. <laughs> and I said, well, Ace can't sleep through our set, we're going on. So anyway, I started talking to him, and uh, we got to talking about having the same amplifier company at the time we were both endorsed by Laney, which is a little British company that makes amps. And anyway, he conf kind of confided in me, because, you know, I don't really like Laney's that much. And I go, well, I'm not really crazy about him either. So then I go, you got a Marshall in there somewhere? And he goes, yeah. And I go, well, I got one too. He goes, why don't we help each other out? We'll use our Marshalls. And that became kind of a, kind of like an in-joke. He's but a really nice guy. Very cool. Your entire music collection gets wiped out. What's the first CD you replace? Oh, God, that's such a very difficult question. They get harder. Uh, they get harder? Uh-huh. Man, uh, I don't know. How's that for an answer? <laughs> Probably it would be like stuff that I grew up with, like Led Zeppelin one, Boston one, uh, Jimmy Hen the first Jimi Hendrix. Usually the first album of everybody is usually really good. Okay. Um, you get a knock on your door and it's a singer. And he says, Jack, I'm gonna do a personal song just for you right here in your house. You get to pick the singer. Who is he and what's the song? Well, it would have to be Robert Plant just because she's just so ridiculously good. Uh, and it would be, uh, I don't know, um, Since I've Been Loving You. Okay. And he could do it bedside when I would be with a very special lady. Oh, and now we're talking. And we could have Robin off to the side singing <laughs> Since I've Been Loving You. we get some candles going and some nice wine. That sounds a great date. <laughs> I don't know if Robert would do it. He might want to jump in, and that would not be cool. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, young guitar players thinking about making a career in music. What advice would you have for them? Oh, boy. I would have to say, make sure you really enjoy it. Don't quit your day job. And uh, have a backup plan, because it's really not as great as it was, the whole music scene. And if you didn't make somewhat of a name for yourself 20, 30 years ago, it's really more difficult now, because kids don't want to pay for what they can have free and music has gotten to the point where it's free and so it's hard to sell them CDs absolutely um, living or dead what one person would you like to jam with I would really like to jam with a lot of people but I would have to say BB King would be one um, Jimmy Page Albert King Freddie King Ingve of uh, Eric Clapton, Jeff Beck, Richie Blackmore, Brian May of Queen, uh, Gary Moore. I think, you know what, I think Gary Moore before all of them. There you go, fantastic. Last question and the hardest one. You've been getting interviewed for a lot over 45 years. What one question would you like to answer that nobody ever asked you? Uh, hmm. You know, I, I think I've answered every question. I mean, if you go online and Google me, it takes about five or six days to get to the end of it, which I haven't done yet. Uh, but I would say probably a question, can I censor myself? Or wait, how, how can I do this? I would be like, who the mm is Jack Star? Okay, and how would you answer that? 
I would say, have you got about three or four hours and we'll, we'll get into it. Very cool. Well, Jack, thank you for taking the time to interview with us. We really enjoyed your show and wish you the best in everything that you do. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. You're welcome.